Hey guys. Good evening. How are you? How's it going, guys? How was uh how was your Valentine? Hey guys. What was that? What's a normal day? <laughs> it was a normal day. Well, yeah. Yeah. I had to work too, so it was a pretty normal day for me too. Um, what about everybody else, guys? Did you did you do anything special? No. No normal day. Too. Normal day, right? Well, happy Valentine's to you. Okay, if you didn't have anybody telling you that, happy Valentine's to you. All right. It's good to see you here, guys. So <laughs> let's spend Valentine having a class together. <laughs> All right. So let's get started, guys. Good to see you, guys. It's good to see you. Thank you for being early. All right. So let's get started. All right. So anyways, um, so we're going to continue, guys, from the topics from the platform, right? Um. And then let's let's talk about that. Hold on. Let me share my presentation. There you go. All right. Anyways, guys. So today, guys, uh, we're gonna talk about models. If clauses and gerunds, okay? So let's have a small warm up. We're gonna go over the grammar and we're gonna have some practice. All right. So by the end of this class, you will be able to learn, well, uh, you will be able to use models to make requests. All right. So let's watch the video, guys, and pay attention and tell me what you got from it, okay? So let's see. Well, let me know if you can hear. Can you, can you, can you hear? Can you hear? Can you watch the video? No. no. Okay, share sound. Okay. What about now? Can you hear? No, nothing. Nothing? Just watch. Okay, hold on. Here, right. no, I, I don't hear, but watch video, yes. Okay, all right, so what about now? Can you hear? Don't hear video. No, not yet. No, not really, really, wow. Oh. Okay, what is going on, hold on. I see, I see video. But I don't hear video. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Why would that be? Nothing yet? Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, what about now? No? Nothing. That's so weird. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. I have the share sound option here. Okay, all right. Let me see if this works, okay? What about now? Can you hear? Mm, nothing. Nothing. All right. Anyway, so we're gonna skip that. We're gonna skip that over then because I have no idea what's going on. I'm already sharing the sound and nothing's happening, so I guess we're not gonna be able to watch it. All right. Anyways, but it's on the platform. Okay, I wanted to show you what was on the platform. Okay. All right. So let me reshare this here. Okay, so anyways, guys, so um, so we have, you know, we have 
four types of questions with modal verbs, okay? We have would you, could you, will you, and can you, right? So those are the modal verbs that we're going to practice, okay? So, um, so I could say, for example, would you please open the door? Could you please open the door? Will you please open the door? And can you please open the door, right? So we can use all these four models. And if you don't, if you're not aware what models are, guys, would is a model, could is a model, will is a model, and can is also a model, right? We can all we can use all four of them to make formal requests. Okay, so who would like to help me read? How, how do you say? Go ahead. Model. Uh, hmm? Model verbs. Oh, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Have, model verbs are helping auxiliary, auxiliary verbs that express ideas like ability, permission, and asking for assistance. Many model verbs have more than one meaning. They are always followed by the simple form of a verb. For example, could you help me for a minute, please? This shows that the speaker is asking for help politely. All right, good job. Okay, so now, right? Uh, okay, so these are, so basically guys, all these models are going to be used, thank you very much. Um, the, all these models guys are gonna be used to talk about uh, requests that we can ask politely, okay? So formal ways of saying, you know, uh, if somebody can help you, you know, or whatever request we might, you know, come up with, right? So you can say, for example, hey, could you help me for a minute, please, um, right? So the model verb uh, that comes at the beginning would be could. This shows that the speaking is asking for help politely, okay? So instead of saying, hey, uh, help me, right? Or like, you know, like our moms, right? Like do this, do that, right? You would say, could you please do that? Would you please do that? Will you please do that? Can you please do that, right? So how do we ask questions in a polite way? All right, this is a structure that we have to follow. Please write down the structure, guys, would, right? Would you or could you? And then please, and then uh, the simple form of a verb, right? The, the base form of a verb. For example, would you please email that document to me? I need it ASAP. By the way, guys, ASAP means as soon as possible, okay? All right, would you please email that document to me? I need it ASAP, right? Could you explain that again, please? I didn't understand. Okay, again, you can use would, you could use could, right? Formal ways, all right? So let's open the whiteboard. All right, so let's open the whiteboard and, okay, and let's, let's show this, okay? All right, so you could say, for example, so we have would, right? Plus, we need a subject, right? And then we have please, And then we have the base form of a verb, okay? And then we have the rest, right? The rest plus a question mark, okay? We have, instead of would, we can say could, right? And it is the same thing. We can say will, and it is the exact same thing. And we can say can, and it is the exact same thing. Now, now this one, guys, is a little bit more polite than this one, and this one is a little bit more polite than this one, and this one is more polite than this one, okay? All right, so basically that, that's the difference, okay? Now, I want everybody guys to send me one example in the chat, okay, asking, ask me something, guys. Ask me, request something from me, okay? Uh, send me an example of something that you would request from me, okay? So you can say, you can, you can do it like this, right? You can say, for example, David, right? David, come, right, comma, would you please um, teach us, whatever, right? Teach us about 
uh, imperatives, right? And this is an example, guys, right? Would you please teach us about imperatives, okay? All right, so anyways, ask me a request, guys, okay? Send it in the chat, okay? In el chat, guys, send below in el chat right now, all right? So I wanna see everybody's examples, okay? Would you like a cup of coffee? Very good. Okay, Alexander, good job. And no, not right now. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What else? What else do we have? What else? So Giselle says, can you repeat everything, please? All right. <laughs> That's an example, right? <laughs> You're not asking me to repeat everything. All right, very good. Thank I you. Know, I know things. So... <laughs> yeah, like it just teaches everything again right now. All right, very good, very good. Okay, right. Uh, send me another one, guys. Send me in another one. Teacher David, could you please finish the class earlier? Hey, 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 hey. No, thank you. <laughs> so we'll see. It has to last one hour. <laughs> I'll try, you know, I'll try my best, okay? <laughs> All right, could you do me, could you do me a favor, please? Very good. So, can you speak slower, please? Okay. All right, very good. Good, good example. Would you please explain us this topic again? Okay, Natalie, very good, very good. I'm getting kind of confused because I, I, I somehow I feel like you're getting things out of your chest, you know. <laughs> so, all right, would you please explain this topic again, David? Could you please help us with the platform exercise? Of course, yes, absolutely. See, everybody's getting things out of their chests, right? All right, very good. Continue, guys, continue. I like this, okay? Please ask me anything because I'm not going to give you anything. No, I'm kidding, guys. I'm going to help you first, right? You, you you go ahead first. Of course, right? All right. So I have I have Alexander, Giselle, Jennifer, uh, Eric, Natalie, Carla, David, could you please help? Oh, right, Carla, yes, right. Uh, Maria Concepcion, would you please give me permission to go to go? to sleep see that's why you need to be in the class because we need to correct those things right would you please give me permission to go to sleep yes i'll give you permission at 10 p.m okay all right very good continue guys continue hi mrs uh can you show me the difference between would and could all right very good if you're asking me for real that question yes absolutely i can teach you the difference okay all right, would you please give me your phone number? All right, yes, you have my phone number already on the WhatsApp group. I, uh, very good. Can you give me permission to go to the bathroom? Yes, at 10 p.m., don't worry. Would you like to teach me more video games of English? <laughs> well done, would you like to teach me? Now, first of all, it's would you like two guys, right? Remember that when we have two verbs together, we need we need two, right? So would you like to teach me more about video games in English, perhaps? That that needs to be corrected, no? Uh, can you say me Mary, please? That, what well, I don't understand that. You, by, by the way, guys, when you say say, guys, say I don't know what, like if you're translating that or what, but it's actually say to me, okay? Say to me, say to, you need to say to, all right? When you use say. All right. Um, okay, let's see. So maybe are yours? You are you? I, I, it's just that I don't understand. May, are you asking me to call you, Mary? Is that what you're asking me? Like, like, can you call me, Mary, like that? Si te puedo llamar Mary. Is that what you're saying? What you're trying to say in your example? If that's the case, that would be, could you call me Mary? Right. Um, hold on at 10 p.m. Hold on at 10 p.m. 
Very good. Very good. It's only example teacher. Oh, it's only okay. All right. Yes, yes. I know, I know. Even if it's an example, I'm trying to figure out if you're saying uh, if you're trying to say call me. Can okay. you call me Mary, right? Like, are you trying to say podría llamarme Mary? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay. All right. So that, so that would be the verb should be call me, not say me. Say me doesn't exist. All right. Um, okay. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. So if you have not sent me your examples, guys, okay, please keep on sending them. All right. Uh, good job, guys. Good examples, right? So now, if we were asking me for real, I guess, what the difference was between would and could, all right? When we ask in requests, guys, when we're asking for requests, the difference between would and could, guys, is pretty much nothing, okay? They're both used for, um, they're both used, guys, for, for polite requests, right? Now there is a difference if you're not using them for, uh, for requests, right? Uh, you could say I would do that versus I could do that, right? Uh, which have very different meanings, right? But for requests, like when we ask questions like this, they have the same meaning, pretty much. Okay, as you uh, would, perhaps would be more polite than the other one, and that that is the difference. Okay. All right, guys, so going back to the examples that we got down here, right? All right, everybody gave me, you know, gave me really, really good examples, okay? Now, how do you how do you answer? If somebody is requesting something like this from you, how would you, how would you answer? You would say, um, you would say, guys, uh, yes, right? I, for example, would, would you please email that document to me? And you answer, yes, I, I will or I'll do it right now, okay? Could you explain that again? Sure, I can explain that again, okay? You don't need to answer, guys, with the same model, right? Uh, usually, guys, these are requests that are being asked in the present or in the future, right? Um, if you want to be a little bit more casual, right? So this is one of the bigger differences. Could and would is pretty much the same. And will and can is basically the same too, right? This is polite, but a little bit more casual, right? In that case, you will say, will you or can you plus the verb in base form, right? Will you please answer the phone? Can you hold on? Can you hold my books for me, right? All right. So this, if you want to be more casual, like with your friends, okay, this is how you would say. It. You will not say, hey, you know what? Could you please? I mean, you can say them, right? But it's not necessary, okay? All right, very good. Any questions so far, guys? So far, is it good? Easy, right? So let's yeah. do some, all right, let's do some small exercises, okay? I want everybody to, uh, well, you're gonna get together and you're gonna choose the right answer from these exercises, okay? All right, so take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, if you will. And I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group, either way, right? But but you can also take a screenshot. Oh, hold on. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group. So you can start working on, you can start working on this, okay? All right, give me one second. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so let's get together, guys, and solve those questions together, okay? those exercises together all right so let's go guys let's go let's go let's go I can see all right let's go guys let's join let's join the breakout rooms
Morave. Aravela. Hello. Somebody's waiting for you, Aravela. Yes, yes, I boy. Okay. All right, very good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Catherine. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm great. Good to see you here in my class after after two years, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Two I think years. it's been it's been I think it's been like two years, right? Yes, two years. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So, what made you come back here? ¿Cómo, cómo lo diría? <laughs> no, what, what, yes, yeah, like, who would have thought? Okay, that's uh -huh. how you say. <laughs> who would have thought? Uh, no, I was asking you who, uh, like, what made you come back to the, you know, to, to take, take, take these courses? Yeah. But I like your. I like your classes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. You're welcome. Um, no, I was asking you, like, uh, like, what made you come back to the to this class, right? Like, what made you come back to these classes? Es que, and actually, and uh, and the in September, uh, the twenty twenty two, I was to. Uh -huh. I was to finish this course, but the uh, Jason never sent me the information to in to the para inscribirme. Nunca me nunca me los mandó. <laughs> nunca me mandaba la información para inscribirme desde desde septiembre, porque en septiembre me tocaba terminar ya. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I guess. Wow, but it's me, a... aquí no tiene la vida. <laughs> All right, that's great. That's great. It's, 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 um, I'm glad. I'm glad to have you here. Okay, very good. So let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Okay? Good okay. to see you, Catherine. See you. See you. See you. Number four. Mm. Number four. Number four. Would you mind if I will? Ya no pagaré esa. Uh -huh. O sea, cuando ocupamos los modas, tiene que ir el verbo en su base form. English. English, please. <laughs> Would you? Uh, the third is would you mind would you mind buying two loaves oh. of bread on your way home the firm I think is with the base one I don't understand mm. that one. Try it, try it. We're gonna I'm gonna explain that later. Okay. Try your best to answer these ones and then I'm gonna go over the explanation of those, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are we how are we doing here? Uh, uh I think it was here. Did you, would more you... Time, did you the what the what uh Noah? more time please more time it's no it's okay right i'm not rushing you right take take your time all right this, 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 number three. This, this number is three. my this is my valentine's gift to you okay <laughs> take okay. more time <laughs> thank you <laughs> this is a very sad gift right <laughs> uh -huh. number four <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. Borrow. 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 Um, Would you mind if I borrow your dictionary for an hour or so? 
Hello, guys. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Are we good here? How are yes, you? we really finish. How am I? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm great, man. Yeah. How, how about you, man? How are you? Alexander? I'm fine, fine. A little right. bit tired. <laughs> yes, tell me, tell me. I'm, I woke up, I woke up at 5 a.m. I've been working ever since, you know. I'm tired, 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 tired. <laughs> you have Every to, day or have, have you tried uh, a magnesium, teacher? Have you tried magnesium? No, no. It's my, um, how do you say, treasure or <laughs> my secret? Because I think we, if, if you have a, a very, I don't know how to say it. Like, <laughs> but it's very good <laughs> for your health. <laughs> okay. All right. You mean you mean like like if I'm very busy all the time, if I have a very busy life, is that what you tried to say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. My name is for busy people. <laughs> okay. Hey, I didn't know that. Really. Okay. All right. That that you know, my secret is that I'm always tired. You know, <laughs> that's my secret, Captain. I understand you perfectly. <laughs> I understand you. you. I am in that team. <laughs> yes. 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 No, I I got you. Got you right. All right. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for the tip. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to get magnesium. Magnesium. You know. Um, so how are, how are you doing? How are you? Did you finish the exercises? We already yes. finished. You already finished. Okay. Uh, you're the first ones because no, like everybody else has not finished. Okay. But anyways, okay. um, how do you feel about this topic? I like it. Um, easy. Easy, right? I think it's easy. It's, yes. Only Everything. you need to mm -hmm. focus the specific word when you are quick at something. Okay. All right. There is something There is something about these uh, requests that we need to explain that we still need to explain. So I'm going to go over that uh, in a moment. But yes, you know, pretty much that's it. Okay. Anyways. Mm -hmm. um. So let's go back. I think it's time. Let's go. Okay. Let's go back, guys. I'm sorry, I muted. <laughs> I was asking you, hey, do you ever uh -huh. watch the do you ever watch the recorded classes on the YouTube channel? No. Uh, <laughs> Nobody no. would. <laughs> Nobody ever does, right? <laughs> you gotta make me famous, right? No, oh. uh, that's 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 not my channel, okay? That's you know <laughs> it's not monetized or anything. Um I have a sister. My sister has an uh, has a has a has a has an English academy in Argentina. She lives in Argentina, mm -hmm. and uh, but she's she's got she's a TikToker because she uh -huh. wanted to bring in more customers, right? She wanted to bring in more students, but she, I think she's got like over five hundred million. I'm sorry, five hundred thousand followers or something like that. Uh, so you might have uh -huh. seen her. You know, you might. Uh, it, she's got an academy called Yo Si Aprendo. I don't know if you heard about that. But if you ever see that, Yo Si Aprendo, that is my sister. You know? Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. Look for her. If you find her on TikTok, that, that is right. I, I, I never see her because I don't, I honestly don't, don't, I don't like TikTok. I don't have time for TikTok. Um, so I never see her, but I know, I know she's got like 500,000. Um, anyways, guys, so uh, so let's go over the answers. There is uh, something that we need to address here, okay? So the first one, the first one is easy enough, right? We have, 
Um, the first dance, what is the first one? Can, may, would, would you mind? What is it? May. May. Let, let me, let may. me ask you something. Could I, could I use guys, all of them? Could I use all of them? I speak all of them. May I speak to no. you, please? Oh, no. All right. Well, I yeah. think we can I, use all. Let's can. can. You can use this, this. Can I speak to Mr. Smith, please? When may I speak to Mr. Smith, please? And you can use this one too, right? But it says formal, polite request, right? So in that case, you can say, may I, right? You can say, may I speak to Mr. Smith, please? Or you can say, would you mind if I speak, if I speak to Mr. Smith, please, right? Now, with this, would you mind, guys, okay? It's like, um, so this is what I wanted you to explain, right? This is a very formal way of asking for a, a request, okay? So if you say, guys, would you mind if, right? It's like saying, le importaría si, in, in Spanish, right? Hey, le importaría mm -hmm. si, right? Le importaría si le invito a una taza de café? Right, something like that, right? <laughs> okay. Nobody speaks like that, right? That sounds ridiculous, but you know, in English you can say this, right? In English you can say this, right? So, anyways, right? This doesn't sound as ridiculous in, as in Spanish. Okay, in Spanish it sounds nobody talks like that, right? That is so fake, right? You say, "Hey, vamos por un café," right? All right, very good. So, anyways, so um, so if you want to be like very, very formal, right? A formal, polite request. This is what we should be saying, right? Would you mind if right, I speak to Mr. Smith, please, right? After yes, guys, you have, you know, think about it like this, okay? Just just think about this phrase and add everything else as if, as if it is can or or may, right? Now, number two, guys, uh, if you chose here, guys, may I speak to Mr. Smith, please? That's also correct, okay? Now, number two, it says polite request. Now, here, guys, let's put it like this. Instead of formal, guys, let's say very polite request, right? Very polite request. So in that case, the absolute best answer would be this one, right? Now here it says polite request, right? So could you open the window, please? It's hot he it's hot in here. Couldn't you open the window, please? Now, by the way, guys, if you say couldn't you, it's it's grammatically correct. But if you say couldn't you open the windows, please? Okay, if you say couldn't you open the windows, that that is rude, okay? So do not talk like that because that, that is actually rude, okay? Just the same. Just the same. Hey, viejito, no podría abrir las ventanas. <laughs> right? right? Which is, you know, which sounds a little bit rude. So 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 what is the best option here, guys? If you want to be polite. Could you open the window, please? Very good, could right? So in this, could you open the window, please, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what about number three? Would it says, you mind? Would you mind, right? Would you mind buying? Very good. Now, now be careful. When we say, guys, would you mind if we need to use, we need to speak with a subject afterwards, okay? okay. The subject, okay? But if you have only would you mind, you need a gerund. And this, guys, okay, is what I need you to remember, okay? If you ever say would you mind without if, right? Without if, you will need a gerund, okay? Would you mind buying two loaves, uh, two loaves of bread on your way home, okay? Would you mind... Now, do me a favor, guys. Send, actually, you guys send me examples, okay, with would you mind. Actually, send me one with would you mind and would you mind if, okay, just so we're on the same page. So remember, the only difference, guys, between them both is that when we say would you mind, right, would you mind if, right, we say if we are going to use a subject, okay, okay, would you mind if, Right, and then plus the base, plus an infinitive, right? An infinitive, guys, would be the base form of the verb, right? Would you mind if I borrow $100 from your wallet, right? <laughs> Got it? Uh, now, if we do not say if, right? If you say, would you mind, 
okay? Then you need to follow this by a gerund. So I'm gonna give you one good example. So you can say, right? Would you mind if I borrow a hundred dollars? Right, this is one example with would you mind if, right? And then the second example would be, would you mind? Um, now, the verb borrow guys, right? If I borrow is, I ask for money, right? In this case, if you say, would you mind, right? Without if, you would need to say, would you mind lending me, right, a hundred dollars, okay? Would you mind lending me a hundred dollars? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. You always um, use the ing verb uh, before, no, after. Yeah, after, uh, would you mind plus Gerald? Yes, you will need to use, after would you mind, right? Yeah. You need to use Without a gerund. Okay. Here, yes, you need to use a gerund all yeah. the time, right? All right, okay. let's let's change that verb, okay? Uh, would you mind? Give me a verb, guys. Drink. Well, there you go, right? You're one of my my people, right? Would you like drinking? You know? Okay, very good. So, would you mind, right? Would you would you mind if I drink some vodka Petrov? Right, would, you, would you mind if I drink some vodka, right? Okay. And you can say, guys, okay. Some chamacos. Some chamacos. <laughs> and you can say, right, would you mind? <laughs> would you mind? Now, here's here. Okay. Here is a, not a problem, but I want you to pay attention to this. So how would you say this, guys? How would you ask the same question here? How would you ask the same question, but without the subject? Think about it. Uh, you can say, would you mind drinking some shots of vodka, something like that? If I say, would you mind drinking, right, some vodka? Drinking I mean, this is okay, shots. right? Okay, hold on, all right? This is okay, all right? Okay. Would you mind drinking some vodka? It's okay. But you're actually talking about the second person. You're talking about, let's say that I'm talking to Carla, right? And I say, Carla, would you mind drinking some vodka? I'm asking Carla to drink some vodka, okay? But if I say, guys, would you mind if I drink some vodka? Who's going to drink vodka, Carla or me? You. I am going to drink you. some vodka, right? In that second example, would you mind drinking some vodka? Who's going to drink some vodka, Carla or me? Carla. All right, that would be Carla, right? Okay, so how would I ask, okay? So this is, the, I mean, the, the structure of this is good, right? So how would I turn, all right? And, and this is what I want you to, to, to think about, okay? How would I turn this into me? How would I make, you know, how would I turn this sentence? How would I make this sentence into um, talking about me? How, do, how would I refer to myself? What do you think? Uh, mm -hmm. like I'm sorry, what was that? I guess he's drinking I some vodka. Would you mind? Think about it, guys. How would you say it? <laughs> Think, all right, I'll give you a hint, okay? Think about grammar structure, okay? If we have a subject here and we have a verb here, what can what could come after the verb? Um, to? Would you mind to drinking? No. Mm. No. No, no, no. Okay, a subject is whatever or whoever does an action, right? It's the perpetrator, is the performer of the action. What do we call what do we call what do we call something, you know, the thing that receives the action? How do we call that? Uh, 
an object, right? Uh, it's an object. object. So I I gave you half of the answer. So what would we say? What could we say here, guys? How would you mind? Would you mind me drinking some vodka? Okay. So here, guys, you can use an object pronoun, okay? In this case, that would be an object pronoun. Object, object pronoun. Okay, so you can say, would you mind me drinking some vodka? So this, this tells us, right, that you're referring, you're referring, you know, you're asking that question about yourself, right? Got it? Now, that's only if you want to specify that. You're not going to use it in all cases. That's only if you're going to be referring to you, okay? Or to someone specifically, right? What if you're talking about, you know, your your girlfriend, Dua Lipa, in your dreams, right? How would you say that? So, would you mind her, right? Yeah. Right? Would you mind her drinking some vodka, right? Or you can say, would you mind Dua Lipa, right? Or Dua Lupe, you know, if... Dualupe. Yeah, that's more like it, right? The Salvadorian version. Right? Would you like would you mind Dualupe? Dualupe drinking some vodka, right? Okay. So they, this is if you're being specific, right? But this is not necessary for you right now to remember, guys. Okay. You can keep it this way, right? Would you mind drinking some vodka? Because you're gonna, I mean, we're talking about asking requests, right? So if we're talking about asking requests, then you know, uh no need to worry about anything else, right? So, uh, would you mind if I, if I what? What will be the answer here? What with? If I, now here I, guys, here, okay. We're gonna use the past tense, okay? Would you mind if I borrowed your dictionary for an hour or so, okay? Now, why are we using, why are we using that guys? Because we're talking about an imaginary situation, okay? Kind of like a second conditional, right? Imaginary. Okay. Well, not imaginary situation because we're asking for a request, right? But in conditionals, guys, in second conditionals, you use the past tense of the verb, okay? So uh, just know that the structure, right, has to be in the past. Would you mind if I borrowed your dictionary for an hour or so, right? Um, in Spanish, guys, that would be like when we say, guys, ia. Okay, prestaria, right? Um, I forgot how we call those, um, how we call that in Spanish, guys. Okay, but basically, you know, it's a, it's, I, it's not an imaginary situation here because it's a request, right? But we use them for imaginary situations and second conditionals. Okay, so if I needs to be followed by a verb in in, in the past. Okay, would you mind if I? Didn't come to your party, won't come to your party, or wouldn't come to your party, guys. What do you think? Won't. Okay, would you mind if I didn't come to your party? Because it's the same as this mm -hmm. example, past and past, okay? All right. Now this is not you're not gonna find these guys in the in the quizzes, okay? So no need to worry about those right now. But but yes, just know that you know you can follow, you know, the structure of a second condition, all right? Miss Redding, right? Uh, can't you? Could you? Do you mind? Would you mind? Now, we know, guys, that do you mind and would you mind are incorrect. Why? Why can I not use do you mind or would you mind here in this example? Because it's not gerund. Exactly, right? Because they would need to be followed by gerunds, okay? All right. So... We know that we cannot use can't you, right? Because can't you is impolite, right? So the answer is could you. All right, that is the polite request, okay? All right, any questions here, guys? Um, no. Okay, now let me ask you guys, before we move on, uh, have you completed section one and two already? Not yes. Yet. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. Okay. So, did you answer? Did you answer all questions correctly, or do you need help in some of them? 
Um, I guess. I really know. What? What was that? No. Yeah. Yes. I have all correct. <laughs> you, you have what? I'm sorry. All all correct in the section one and two. Okay, so section one and two are correct. Okay, very good. Well, let's move on then. Okay. So okay, so here are some better phrases, guys. If you want to make you know polite requests, okay. So you can say. By the way, guys, are you still seeing the presentation? Yes. Okay, very good. Right. So okay, so here are some some better ways of making polite requests. Right. You can say, for example, do you mind if, right? Do you you can say, do you mind if I, right? Do you mind if I borrow? uh if i borrow your your pencil right would you mind if i borrowed your pencil could i write the examples that we saw right would it be okay if now would it be okay if guys is very very polite okay study of nc right would it be okay if repeat guys i wonder if repeat i wonder if i wonder if okay wonder if. now if you say i wonder if guys it's like saying me pregunto si okay I wonder if um uh, I wonder if I can have a cup of coffee, right? Uh I was wondering if I could have a cup of coffee, okay? And for all of these guys, for all of these here, right? You will you you will follow them, right? With a subject, a verb and a complement, okay? Do you mind if I, right? Uh borrow your pen, right? Could I could I, right, the, the subject is already here. Could I borrow your pen, right? Would it be okay if I borrow your pen, right? Now, if you use guys wonder, and I was wondering, right? I, w I wonder if I, or I was wondering if, right? I plus model plus verb plus complement, right? So you could say, I, I wonder if you, give me a model, guys. Mm -hmm. Could. could all right i i wonder if you could come tomorrow right all right so i wonder if you could come tomorrow okay and you can say i was wondering if you could come tomorrow right so same thing right this is the structure that we have to follow there okay all right and um, so let's, uh, I'm going to send you guys uh, another example, another exercise here, and let's complete this. I want you to read the dialogue and fill in the gaps, right? So for example, Mark, would you, and you're going to choose either this or this or can, right? You're going to, you know, fill out the gaps, right? I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group right now, guys, All right? So let's work on these guys five minutes and then we're going to come back and take a look at the answers, okay? All right, so let me send them right now, guys, to the WhatsApp group. Do we have any questions meanwhile, guys? Or is it all clear? Clear as vodka? Yes? No. Yes. yes. Oh. All right, awesome, okay. All right, guys, so let's... Let's, let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's join, guys. Hello, Giselle. Hello, hello. How how are your video games? I I have to fix my PSP. <laughs> you had to fix your PSP? Yes, it's the joystick is broken. All right. Do, do you have you have do you have children? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't? You, you never had children? <laughs> Not me. Oh, okay. All right, all right, very good. I was gonna say, you know, your that your kids would be proud, you know. I <laughs> think <laughs> but uh, I don't have. All right, all right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, all right, so let's work, guys, okay? All right, okay. let's go, guys. Um, who, hi. Eric, hi, Eric. Hello. Hi, hi. 
to see it either. Oh no, wait, are you? Can you see? Hola, buenas. <laughs> no. Buenas. Yes, hello. I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know what happened to your partner, so I brought you. My, my, I brought my you Carla. Internet connection. Okay. Your internet connection, what? Is unstable. I don't unstable. I don't hear you very well. Okay, all right, all right. It's okay. I I I only see your image. All right, it's all right, it's right. I think it's my internet. Okay, all right. How can I help? All right, so how are we doing here, girls? Everything good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, all right. We all are right. finished. Oh, you finished already? Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's super fast. I'm going to check on the other guys then. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Did you finish, guys? Yes. All right, so we're still waiting for the other guys, okay? So let's let's wait. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Maybe offshore not. I go and do it now. It's a conversation. Nicole asks uh, Mark, uh, Mark, would you mind sending those email attachments again? And Mark uh, answered, uh, of course not. Uh, I'll go. I go and do it now. I go. Thank you. See you later. Oh no, Ben. <laughs> are you are you busy? No, not at the moment. Um, mm. Mark, could you help me? Mm. I think it's could you help me, and Ben? Sure. No problem. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. can you help me? Yeah. Uh, can then, you, will you help me? Maybe. Yes. Whatever. Yeah, sure. No, uh -huh. who can I help? Um, no problem. Sure, no problem. How can I help? Yeah. Nicole wants me to send those email attachments again and I can't find them anywhere. I still have them. I'll email them to you now. To you now. Thanks. I think we've only right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you answer all the 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 sentences or the questions? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. The, the first human recourses. Hmm? Actually, I'm working in text opinion, human, human res recourses. Uh, human resources. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and you? Night. No, I'm working uh, mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical company. Oh. I am. I am pharmacist. Oh, it's good. <laughs> good too. Um, which pharmaceutical company? All right, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. All right. So, okay. All right. So let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at the answers. Okay. All right, so let's see, guys, here. 
All right. So number one, Mark, would you? What is the answer here? Mike. Oh. Would you mind? Would you mind, right? So would you? Would you mind? Sandy does. All right. Okay. Very good. Of course. Course not. Of course not. Right. Of course. All right. Thank you. See you later. Oh no, Ben, are you busy? No, not at the moment. Mark. Could, could you help, help me? me? Good, right? Good. All right, could you help me? Right, very good. Sure. No, no problem. Thank you. Can we use can too? Yeah, you can use can. Yes. Okay. Uh, good would be more polite, right? No problemo. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's no problem, guys. Okay, problem is just. Okay. All right. Uh, Nicole <laughs> wants me to send those email attachments again, and I can't find them anywhere. I still have. I, I still have have them i'll email them to you now thanks okay so good guys good job congratulations guys you 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 won zero dollars okay no money <laughs> right. no, kidding. It's, you want a lot of knowledge right you want a lot of knowledge right so anyways uh <laughs> do we have any questions guys no all right so 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 go to sleep guys thank you very much i'll okay. see you tomorrow okay see you tomorrow bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.